Hey everyone, it is Carol, the creative owner of Be Inspired Market, and we. Oh. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Come and join us for day. I think it's day five of twelve of Christmas. <laughs> Why is this so close to? Put them in a little dish, <laughs> she said. Put the skittles in a little dish I made. Uh, Oh Put gosh. the Skittles in a little dish. So crazy. So hopefully you guys would hop it on, say hi when you get here. Um, <laughs> yeah, oops. <laughs> um, who can I say hello to? I don't see. Let me see if I have comments. Anybody I don't see any comments on? yet. Somebody comment. Somebody comment. I see a bunch of you guys on here. Hey, Karen. There she goes. Good evening, Carol and Bill. Um, hey, guys. We're so excited you're here. We have a fun craft. This is uh, day five. I think it's day five of 12 Days of Christmas. Um, so we're at the Christmas mood. I've been watching other crafters moving on to fall, and I'm like, whoa, let me, let me, we're doing Christmas in July. We are doing it for the entire month of July, and it is July 19th, 20th. Um, hey, Annie. Oh, Robin. <laughs> Hello, Amanda from Nebraska. We got Patsy on. So we have um, a, I'm going to teach you guys some etching on some wine glasses. It's going to make the perfect gift. I want to say by the time we're done with this, you could probably do this for less than $10 a person, if not even less. So you're going to want to stick around because it's going to make for a good um, Christmas gift. Hey, Debbie. If you guys see Bill Skittles, where'd you put them? Over here. <laughs> if you guys from you. just popped on, he had his Skittle bowl here that I put and I knocked it down. That she so. made me put them in the bowl. Yes, I did. Oh, you're fine, Karen. Um, hey, we got Jane. So have anybody done etching before? Because I love it. I've done it on other projects. I've done it on vases. I thought this was perfect to do on wine glasses. Um, so I'm going to go over oh. a look. Here's a Skittle. What? Allison said, hey, Carol, Bill, I didn't get your text this time. Oh. Well, you didn't get the text, Allison, because I didn't send out a text. Oh. So what happens when you go on vacation. Yes, we were in vacation mode. Well, you can send it now. He's going to send it out. Oh, but thank you, Allison, for the reminder. Hello. We've got lots of you guys on. Okay, so the wine glasses, just so you guys know, I'm going to list everything for the wine glasses. We're going to do a wine bag that's going to be custom um, and a lot of fun projects. So. Don't forget, we are doing um, the 12 days of gifting. So by spreading the honey, which is our word for sprinkling, um, and inviting some friends, you have to comment, spread the honey, hashtag spread the honey, so that you're entered. And then I go back to every video. We give it about 48 hours after, so everybody who's watching the replay can try. And then I pick a winner to get some happy mail. Notice the bag is still behind you. Oh, his Skittle bag? Yes, that's still there. That's still there. So, thanks, guys. Um, yes, continue to spread the honey. So, wine glasses. I got these from Dollar Tree. Not everything that you get from Dollar Tree has to be in bulk. So, this, I literally bought four glasses. Um, we're going to do two and two because um, I'm making it for two good friends um, back in Illinois for Christmas. So if they're watching. <laughs> um, and I thought it would be fun to do some etching. Oops, don't do that. Hey, Barbara. Oh, Linda says love etching. Okay, so if you're new to etching, it's super easy. It's nothing that you can't do. And you can just... This is to inspire you. You don't have to do wine glasses. You could do whatever. You could do, like I said, a vase. Um, you can etch mirrors. You can etch glass. Um, anything. Anything. So, okay. Now, here's the etching cream that I use. It's called Armor Etch, and I got it from Hobby Lobby. It is not cheap. I know Hobby Lobby doesn't have its coupons anymore. I purchased this. It was $22, and I purchased it with a coupon for 40% off. But I will tell you that you can get etching cream at Michael's, Joann's, any of the crafting stores. It's not cheap, but you use a fraction of this. I've literally had this one probably for two years now. So it's very little that's used. So it's initially a high investment, but you'll get a lot of projects out of that. What do we got here? Brenda, glad I caught you live finally. Good. Get under texting. 
get on our texting list. Tammy Howard said she uh, just got it. Oh, good, good. Um, and then we're going to use, this is going to be a little hack for you. So if you have a Cricut machine, like you guys know I do, um, you can definitely do a stencil to do this project. But I'm going to show you a hack for those that don't have a cutting machine on how to do this. And then you're going to just need some foam brushes to apply your etching. So we're back from vacation. We had our family uh, semi-reunion, and that was fun. Thanks, Janet, for the stars. Hey, Don. But has you anybody semi, been? Did you say a semi-reunion? Semi-reunion. I don't know if it was an official. Could you explain what that means? I semi? don't know. <laughs> a semi-reunion. It wasn't like a reunion reunion because there wasn't like cousins, and I mean, it was really just close family. Uh, immediate family, but that's oh, really so all we got. Okay, catch the replay, definitely. Oh, thanks for spreading the honey. You guys are awesome. Lots of you guys on. Yes, make sure you spread the honey. Um, glad you're doing this. I've been wanting to try it. Oh, good, Lisa. You'll see how easy it is. So like I said, I ordered the wine glasses from Dollar Tree, and you, I only ordered four. You don't have to order a case of these specific wine glasses. I like these wine glasses because, one, I just like, well, I like the shape of them. You could definitely get the ones that have the stem on them um, and do more with that. So let's do it one at a time. So... I have alcohol. I'm going to clean my glass to get all the... Robin said, uh, that was a quick trip. Looks like you were having fun. Oh, it was. was a quick trip. It was a quick trip. It was kind of... We went with my parents, too, so to help them kind of get through the airport and stuff. It was perfect. Impromptu reunion. Yep. Yes. Yes, impromptu. Oh, thanks, Janet. It's a shirt from a long time ago. Thanks for welcoming us back. Hey, Deborah. So what are you doing? So I just took some alcohol, and I've already cleaned the glasses with um, soap and water. And then I just did, um, they come with that little sticker in the back, so I just used the Goo Gone um, and did that. Alcohol, like, when you do the etching, it's just going to make it that there's no spots or anything like that. So we're going to do four of them. And we've got everything. I've got you covered. This is going to be a complete gift. So if you're doing the math, each glass is a dollar. You're going to need a few of these because these um, poster stickers from Dollar Tree only come one per letter. So I think it's one per letter, maybe two per letter. I don't know. Um, but obviously get as many. But that this is a hack. If you have a cutting machine, I, I would rather um, you do a stencil and do it that way or even purchase um, one of those adhesive stencils. Um, because that'll make it easier to do this project, too. Is going to Nashville. That, a lot of crafters are going to Nashville. Uh, I, unfortunately, was going, and now I am not. So, um, for a variety of reasons. But, uh, no, I'm going to miss them all. <laughs> I'm going to be envious as I watch all the, the pictures come through and all the talk and stuff like that. So, maybe next time for sure. It's going to be a small group, and... Um, I know, uh, they're all excited. Yeah, Nicole, we had a little getaway. Oh, Nicole was sick. Hope you're feeling better. See, it's got gooky out there. Hey, Mary. Okay. You're getting gook off? I got goo off already. So, I just have a cotton swab. That's nothing, nothing big. Nothing big. Um, but, like I said, this is um, our continuation. We're doing Christmas in July. I'm sorry for those that want to move on to fall. We will move on to fall in August. <laughs> As a crafter, it kind of is, you know, we obviously have to do the crafts to give you the ideas. Um, because if we're doing the crafts while you want to be creating that, then we're a little behind the eight ball. So, as crafters, we are always ahead of a season. Um, but I'm not going to lie, that kind of messes with <laughs> when it's 90 degrees and humid outside and, and everybody's talking fall. Last week it had a blast. Oh, Deborah, you had a blast. We were in Nashville for New Year's Eve uh, five or six, six years ago, um, and it was a blast. We love Nashville, so it would have been a good trip. Nicole said, yes, I'm feeling better. You're not talking. <laughs> Getting ready to read a comment. Oh. <laughs> comment. That's the second eye roll she's given me, ladies. 
Tammy Howard said, I just want to say thank you to both of you for my auction items. Oh. They're all so beautiful. Oh, thank you, Tammy. Took me a while to package them up, Tammy, but I got them. <laughs> Everything was individually wrapped. Okay. Yes, thank you so much. Hey, Jody. Hey, Jody. Okay, so we're good. Heather's going to sleep through the month oh, of Sherry August. Oh, Jerry had floods over the weekend. Heather's sleeping through the month of August, oh, so geez. you're going to have to change your fall. Uh, pumpkins are coming up everywhere. They are. They are. Um, oh, Kathy's from Nashville. Yeah, it's. we'll have plenty of time. We will have plenty of time. Um, and also, like I said, that countdown behind me, ladies, is... Our DIY club, it is opening in a couple days. Um, you want to get on the wait list, so comment DIY club because just go back and look at some posts. We've got some good early bird things coming up. Um, we only open four times a year, so it's a small window to get in. Uh, so get on the wait list so that you can come join us next week uh, when we open. And uh, we're that's a crafting all month long. So you love us here, or you like us here, you'll love us there. Carol says, I'm painting Christmas. Oh, Christmas in July shows. We're doing Santa when it's 93 degrees. Yes, I agree. Oh, thanks, Jody. Perfect. Okay, so I just have coffee filter. And he did a very good job, right, Tammy? He did. Oh, question of the day, yes. I'm getting to it. Continue to craft. <laughs> Well, you forgot the text. Okay. So, <laughs> my, my girlfriend's name is Kelly. She is a coffee lover. Um, so, what I'm going to show you is the hack. We're going coffee? To, or coffee. I'm a coffee. Okay, well, can, we, a can coffee. we at least pay attention a little bit? <laughs> she, she loves her wine. Um, okay. So, here's your little hack. You're going to take your letters. You're going to cut this out. Like I said, if you have a cutting machine, you're going to want to do a stencil. But if you don't, you can do this hack. And let me get my other K. Uh, Debbie said, said the, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Debbie said, it's amazing how quickly you guys ship everything out to us. Oh. Oh, speaking of which. What? What about the S-U-N-F-L-O-W-E-R? Oh, the sunflower mold. Do you have one here? Um, I do. I do. I think it's back there. The sunflower mold, the the sunflower little jewelry uh, dish that we did with the clay, we got some more sunflower um, molds in. So You guys were asking. Yeah, you guys were asking. We had some messages, so I was able to get some more, so we put those in the market. That's great, if you knew what you actually had in the room here. They should be there. Okay. Well, I'm going to high roll you on the camera. How could I do? Wait. What's for the snack? Oh, he's got um, Skittles. Sherry said I saw them. Sherry saw them. I'm telling you, they're here. Ha! <laughs> that one. <laughs> That's the mold. Hmm. Hmm. In there. I roll number two. Um, so there you go. So those are the sunflower molds. If you comment link, you'll get the link to the store. <laughs> oh, Chris said, I love my sunflower mold. Figure it out where you were spelling. Just figure it out what you were spelling. Just so you know you weren't fooling me. Oh, I don't know what he was spelling. John said, you all need to join the club. They have the best crafts and so much fun. Love the club. A little crazy lately. Out of touch, but enjoy every minute. Bill's going to be in the doghouse. What is he doing that I'm not seeing? Look how Bill spells it. Like I'm going to watch the replay. What is Bill like? <laughs> We're going to see. Um, oh, thank you, ladies. There's lots of comments about the club, and we appreciate you. Will we be, um, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be getting any more bird molds? Oh, they were out of stock. I did look for the bird molds. I did. They were out of stock. Hey, Patches. Okay, so here's your little hack. So that's the letter that I... So that's from the Dollar Tree. So that's a dollar. Hey, Patches. And I'm taking out. So you could do it two ways. You could put your K on it, and you could put etching cream on the whole thing. Um, 
I'm going to do it this way. So this is how my stencil is. Debbie right asked, off. Debbie Quinter asked, did you have to get another suitcase for all your treasures? On your I did not get as many treasures. I did get this little um, tear tray that needs a makeover. That was like $5.99 at Goodwill. Um, I felt I should have got stuff from a craft store. And I think I was so like overwhelmed, 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 and, overwhelmed. and um, and you know, we were flying, so I had to make sure it was going to fit the suitcase. So Teresa uh, Thomas said, what is the DIY club? So the DIY club is our private, um, it is a paid subscription group or paid membership group, not subscription, it's membership. Um, and we craft all month long and we do supply lists. We do paint nights. Uh, if you want to see what it's going to like, it, what our paint nights are, we do have a party that's going to be happening this Saturday. If you comment link, um, you can register for that. Uh, we, it's, we craft all month long. Um, there's just, and it's a great community of ladies in there who share ideas and inspiration. Um, so it's an extension of the page. Nothing changes on the page, obviously. Um, but it's an extension of the page. Just more of it. Just more of it. Exactly. More on the personal level. Um, you definitely get to know us better on a personal level for sure. And we get to know you better on a personal level. A lot of you have become friends. Heather said, what a great there. idea for a stencil. So, yes. So, this is, look how cute that is. Look at that. So, that's your stencil, okay? And then, oh, which <laughs> I said family and friends. So, Sheila Subs is in the club, and she has two adorable granddaughters. And this is what I mean about how we, we, it just it's it warms our heart. So today we come home and we have or yesterday we came home and we had mail and this was a message from or a little card from Sheila and her two granddaughters Liv and Molly and they <laughs> they were crafting over the weekend. Um and they made so Molly made or Liv made this little bee. Look how cute that is. She painted that. So thank you, Liv. And then Molly made this little honey pot. So it's so super cute. So super cute. Um, so it makes me smile. And they just sent a sweet little um, note. Um, so thank you. I'm sure I think um, Sheila said her uh, Liv was uh, playing softball. So I don't know if they're on right now. Uh, Robbie asked, is the is it the uh, let's back up. Robbie said, is it is the sunflower a one, three, or a five pack? The sunflower, a one, three. It's a one pack. Okay, well, answer it. Why would it be a three or a five pack? What is that? Like if there were pack, if there were three of those together, or five of those together. Why are you asking me? Ask me. <laughs> no, it's just one. It's just one mold. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what he's. Why are you asking me? If you. Signed up for the paint party. Oh, excuse me. If you signed up for the paint party that's happening this weekend and you didn't get an email, then definitely text us um, and we'll get you the link. We'll get you the link. Okay, Bill, what's the question of the day? Well, I got to pick it. So the only thing with that stencil is those edges are very um, thin. So just take some painter's tape to give yourself a fatter edge. Sherry Wolf, you get one, one, uh, one mold in there, but it's got multiple. She's showing it so fast. There's one big one here, and then there's some leaves up here, right here. Oh, that's what she's asking. And then there's like a little flower down here, and then like another little leaf here. That's like the back of it. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you can. Oh, I don't know. They're Robbie. really nice, and I'll tell you what. Place your order tonight. I got time in the morning, so. It'll go out right away tomorrow. And lately, I've there we been, go. lately I've been taking them to the post office. So yeah, we had a really good vacation. We really did. So you can save these K's. Like I said, you can actually just put them back. Um, you want to put them back where there's like a shiny side, so that they kind of come off the paper. Um, so you can do that. Okay. Let's see. Oh, is that what you, okay. I'm sorry. I misunderstood. Too much glare on the package. Oh, on the package. Sorry. It's on the website, though. Okay. Question of the day or the night or the evening. <laughs> Allison is watching on YouTube. Who else is watching on YouTube? Let me finish my skill. Oh, so here we go. 
<laughs> Stop making the faces. Share a TV show that you have binged watched. Share a TV show that you have binged watched. That's kind of hard to say. Binged, binged watched. watched. Harvesting honey this week. The hives are full. Oh, Sherry, we got to order some uh, honey from you. Okay, let me get my other little. Oh, Patches is watching on YouTube, but come or yeah, watching on YouTube, but commenting on, on. Uh, yeah, I think some say YouTube is better for um, how big we come out on the screen. Friends, Grace and Frankie, The Ranch. I've never heard of that. Yeah, CSI yeah. three times. Cole Barkia. Step away from the skills. Kathy yeah, said, uh, Grey's and Adam, how to save a life. Isn't that the theme song? The Mentalist? I don't know that one. Friends, Yellowstone, I heard, is really good. I don't think I've heard of that. Because uh, you're crafting all the time? Lucifer. Weren't your girls watching Lucifer? I, they were. Cobra Kai. That's Yellow, awesome. Yellowstone. That's supposed to be really good. Uh, Virgin River on Netflix. That sounds Breaking Bad. Virgin River, I've heard. Um, Golden Girls. Yes. Oh, that's a oldies. All right, so we got that. And Hallmark then, Countdown. Oh, let me do. Good. My other friend is Jenny, so I'm going to do hers in the J. You spelling out their name? No, I'm just doing their initials. Um, like I said, if you have a Cricut, you could definitely do it um, on your Cricut machine. But we're going to actually make a custom um, wine bag, too. And that's going to be a printable on the um, on the blog. Love Virgin River. I don't know what that is. Magnum P.I. Mary for the win. <laughs> that's awesome, Mary. <laughs> oh, my Magnum gosh. Magnum P.I. Our, what was our binge? I don't know if it was a Breaking binge. Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad was probably our, like, I actually sat and did a whole series. Blog you can't go order. wrong with Tom Selleck, though. <laughs> I mean, he's got a Ferrari. He's got a helicopter. He always gets into some sort of trouble, but he gets himself out. He's kind of like MacGyver, but with a mustache. Oh, Allison, it was said at Virgin River is so good. Okay, we're, we're doing another stencil. We're, we're not binge watching it, but we are watching uh, Ozark. Ozark. Yes. So just take your time. So this is your hack. If you ever don't have, if you don't have a Cricut machine, you can do it this way. Almost all of the above, Joy said. Yeah, I always feel like we just don't have time, but I guess we do. Blue we blood. Do. Blue blood. Oh, another Magnum PI. That's awesome. I didn't even know that they. This one got cut. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> Miami Vice. Miami. Oh, that's that's good too. That's just as old. Mayberry RFD. <laughs> so just take your time. Okay. That's our J. Ooh, Sons of Anarchy. That's good, too. That's good, Tammy. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. So many good shows. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're all in here. I'm just making my border a little larger. So, but super fun. Hey, Janet. So many good shows. I know. Keep spreading that, honey, ladies. We're going to do um, a gift away. Tonight? I would love to get to 500. Can you guys help us get to 500? Because it's been a while. It's been a hot minute, everybody says. <laughs> One hot minute, y'all. <laughs> Just a couple from Chicago. <laughs> Living in the South now, I know. I always say, do I have to say y'all? This is my Southern Belle. <laughs> Meet my Southern Belle. Way hey, behind. Us. Oh, see, Joy's way behind. Oh, Mary, I just finished watching Ozark. Hopefully there's yeah, Carolyn a said, Bill, you were just you were just whistling the Andy Griffith show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Janet said the ranch. Hey TJ. Uh okay. Let me get a little more on here. Oh, 90 Day Fiance. I don't know what what was the theme song for Mulberry? I don't know. Weren't they didn't they live in <laughs> Mayberry? Tammy's like, oh, thank you, Tammy. Tammy said 500 stars. 
So this is a super easy craft that you guys can do for a wine lover. And if they don't drink wine, that's okay. You could do this. Like I said, you could do this on a vase. Well, it could be for iced um, tea. It doesn't have yeah, to be. It could be anything. We're going to we make a wine bag, but you can put drink, anything. But... And if you check your emails, I did a survey one time. And so, you guys were so fun. I had sent out. Uh, we're not wine drinkers. And Bill thought the question was kind of odd. Um, but I asked you your favorite wine. So check your emails. I do send some emails sometimes. Just saying. I don't spam you. But I do send you some emails. So I want to go check those out. Whitworth on Netflix. Oh, uh, thanks, Barbara. Okay, so watch how simple this is. You just take a... Um, sponge or foam brush now this stuff smells and you should use gloves i'm assuming the two uh, mad faces up there were by accident I hope so. shaylin and michelle oh yeah we love Shay. yeah i'm assuming they were by accident yeah tom Selleck is the current series spread the honey thank you shirley hey cheryl okay so you definitely want to wear gloves, do not get the etching cream on your skin or near your eyes or anything. It is, I mean, this is about two years old, so I think the spell has kind of gone down. But sometimes it does, depending on how sensitive you are to smell, this could be strong. So you want to do it in a well-ventilated room. Oh, spreading the crafty love. Thank you. Oh, Joy had a parrot that played the it, it, He would learn it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Shaylin, that was by she total. that dumb bird never learned it. <laughs> Shaylin said that was by total accident. I dropped my phone. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> I'm the, we're not mad. No. I just... We know. We, we watch, you watch us all the time. Hey, Gloria. Okay, so watch how easy. We're going to do a couple things with this. So all you're going to do is you're going to need a lot of it. Okay, so that's why I like to use the sp sponge um, brushes. How do we not have more people watching this? Seriously. So you're gonna take, you're gonna take your etching cream, and you're going to just slather it on. You want a thick coat. So what etching cream is? Is it's etching the glass. So when we're done, it's going to leave the initial. Dawn said, "Is this like dishwasher that. safe?" Yes. It is dishwasher safe. You're so actually once, etching the glass, Don. Yes. So you're etching the glass. And then any design that you do with this, though, I would not put it. We're going to put polka dots on here. I thought polka dots were going to be fun. Um, so if you didn't want to do an initial, this will give you another option. But you definitely want to keep your design away from the lip of the um, glass. Now you're gonna wash this off, but I always, I mean, it's not gonna be attractive. Right, Dawn, how here. cool is this? So. How do we not have more? Oh, here they come. We're almost <laughs> at 300. We're almost at 300. Somebody like, come. Here they come. Um, no. My voice, at 500 I, I sing, and I want my voice to be right. Okay. You eat your Skittles. So, like I said, super easy to do. You just take the etching cream, and you're just dabbing it on there. See, and you're just taking your time. That's I put the painter's tape on there because if you do the hack, you're not going to have a lot of lip um, on the letters, and you want to make sure that you have a clean design. How cool. Oh, you're so welcome. Lynn's like, thank you. Heather said, I've always wanted to see if I could add food coloring to the etching cream. Would it watch the design of that color? I think it will, Heather. I think that's a fun experiment. I think it would. I think it would. I don't, have, I don't know if I have food coloring, but that is a good experiment to try, for sure. For sure. Love the hat. Good patches. I'm glad. I'm glad. I hope you guys are inspired. That's what this is all about. Who's new on here? If you're new, comment uh, newbie. <laughs> We'd like to give you a shout out. Welcome. Okay. I so. would like to give you a shout out while Carol's etching glass. So this is gonna sit for five minutes, but I thought it would be fun if you have these, you could get these at Dollar Tree. You could take any kind of shape. So if you wanted to do stripes, my tip to you if you're gonna do stripes is use electric tape. It 
it forms to the glass better than painter's tape. I was trying to find some in the garage and I couldn't. Um, so, but polka dots are super fun. So you're just going to take your etching cream and you're just going to go on your glass and you're going to make little polka dots. Hey, and obviously I want to be closer to that, but I'm okay. Cause we're going to just let it all sit. Heather Asher is a newbie. Tara Black, Black is a newbie. Natalie already welcomed all the newbies. Jody <laughs> welcomed all the newbies. Uh, Patches welcomed all the newbies. We have a great group here. We really do. Very proud of this page and what it's become. It's a lot of positive, positive um, community, and, you know, that's how we want to keep it. And if you guys like Skittles, you can watch me eat Skittles. <laughs> so look how easy that is. Super simple. So right now we're really just – I said, you're probably three bucks in because it's, um, oh, no, not three bucks. Um, one, two, three, four. Yeah, a set. I lost count. <laughs> uh, Nuki from Colorado. We just came back from Colorado. That was the first time I was there. And I have to say, it is a very beautiful state. Who was that? Um, I think it was Penny. Welcome, newbies. Oh, yeah. These are awesome. Hey, Penny, we are in Colorado Springs, and uh, both first time for us going up to Pikes Peak. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, that's for another that's, <laughs> that's for another day, but Carol made it. Let's just say that. Well, let's just say I made it. I made it, and that, that took a little, a little convincing, but I did it. So there's our little polka dots. I'm going to keep doing this. It's fun. But the possibilities are endless. Because you can do whatever you want. Oops. <laughs> Try not to slide. I'm just taking my little sponge and going around. And so what's going to happen is we're going to let this sit on our glass, and we're going to let it etch the glass, and we're going to let it sit. The, the instructions on the bottle itself, I think, says about 10 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And we're going to work on the wine bag in the meantime. Yes, lots of beautiful mountains. It was gorgeous. It's we uh, we did get lightheaded when we got to the top. Yes. I actually was a lot more lightheaded than I thought I would be. And we did not take the COG train because it was booked. It was already sold out like days in advance. So we drove. <sighs> we drove up to Devil's Den, which was at about 12,000 feet, I guess. 11, I think 12, it was 11,000. 11,000 feet. And then we took a bus. The rest of the way to fourteen thousand two hundred feet. Yes. Um, yes. It was, it, was, crazy. it was. It was. It's nothing I've ever done before. I mean, we're from Chicago, so I obviously went up to the Sears Tower or Wilson Tower. I don't even know what it's called anymore. Willis. Willis. Yeah, Wilson. <laughs> um, so I've done that, but the older I get, my fear of heights is worse. Um, than when I was younger, and I didn't think, I mean, really, we got out of the car, we parked, and I honestly was like, I don't know if I could do it. I don't know if I could do you it. You had to get on a school bus. Yes, a school bus to top it off. Okay. With a whole bunch of other people. Love the pictures. Oh, the pictures were awesome. Thank you. So the pictures on the edge of the road. Jody. Oh, my gosh. Jody doesn't even get on a plane. Jody, there's no way you would have gone up there. Jody, there's no guardrails. There's no guardrail. So I'm moving this to the side, and we're going to let this sit for five minutes. While this is sitting, we're going to work on our wine bag. But let me clean up. And, Jody, when you're going slow up the hill, you're only doing 20 miles an hour, 25 miles an hour. But when you're driving. This is garbage. I don't think it's going to wash out very well. You're at the right incline, and the switchback where you go to turn, you can't see. So it looks like you're just going to drive. The road just goes right off. Till the last second. Joy can't even climb a ladder, but love to skydive. Ugh. When we got off, that's what Bill said, because he's done that. Um, I was like, no, 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 no. I don't know how – I give more credit to him because he was the one driving, but I was a nervous rock, and to the point where <laughs> I think it was Sheila that told me um, – it was Sheila in the club. We had talked about it because they knew we were going to Colorado Springs, and she said, Carol, sit behind Bill – in the driver's or in the past like in the back and i'm like well, i can't do that i said i'm driving with him mm -mm. chill off you're watching i <laughs> we're coming down i was like no i'm just gonna sit in the back 
and I'm just gonna like move my head in the direction that is not the edge. So if this rocks, I'll look at the rocks if I'm going this way, and I still <laughs> I was in the back the entire time. Sandy Wickstrom said, my husband and I did Pikes Peak on bikes. They drive you up to the top in a van, then they let you ride down on bikes. It was awesome. Oh my gosh, we saw people doing that. We saw people, you have superpower if you could do that. It's amazing. Going up, they were riding up we saw people bikes. going riding up but even going down i mean going down at that speed with those edges i mean those whatever what are they not edges they're um mountainside, <laughs> mountainside. it was it was crazy it was yeah 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 but it was worth it though you need to see a concert at red rock oh we've heard red rock isn't that gorgeous uh, -huh. uh we'll have to definitely do that uh you guys are oh so fun. I live in Colorado. It's one of the best things to do here. Yes. That's, everybody was telling us that. So we have, we definitely had to do it. Um, even Bill's parents had done it. They didn't do it with us this time. Um, but they, uh, they insisted we do it. Sheila's on. Just popping on for in for a bit. Sheila, thank you. Thank you, Molly, Liv, for our little gifts. We love them. Love them, love them, love them. And thank you, Sheila, for giving the tip, tip. of Carol. <laughs> Coming down from Pike's Peak, she sat in the back seat. I did. I sat in the back seat, and I remembered what you told me. Okay, so we're going to let those sit. Um, so what we're going to do now is, okay, we're going to make a wine bag a little special. But if you're not a crafter, not a crafter, of course you're a crafter because you're here. But if this is enough for you of DIYing, Dollar Tree does have bags that you can purchase and just put your little wine in here. So this is kind of my inspiration, but I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Oh, uh, thank you, Sheila. They're excited to paint rocks for you both. That's so sweet. Thank you, girls. My son is doing a fan in Montana, hiking up the waterfalls. Oh, wow. My daughters love the outdoors, and they love hiking and all that stuff. Um... So they were kind of Lynn, jealous. we didn't get a chance to go into Garden of the Gods. At the time we were coming down from Pikes Peak, we got a message from my family saying, hey, what time are you guys coming back? We want to order dinner. <laughs> so we rushed back to only realize half of the family was still out doing things. <laughs> but also there was something, a water bing break or something water like that. Bing? It was, it was a water bing what? break? How yeah, about a water, water main break? <laughs> What's a water uh, but thank you for watching, everybody that's watching. Um, we are doing the 12 Days of Christmas. Um, make sure you guys comment links so you can go to the blog because these will eventually all be there. Um, I have a lot of catching up to do to get them all on here. This printable, so this print um, is sized perfectly for these bags. So this will be on the blog when the blog post is up. These bags I got from Amazon. So you can go get a dollar Dollar Tree bag, but you could have fun making your own. So these are jute wine bags. How cool are these? They actually, um, if you comment link, you get our Amazon store. They're in there under the craft supplies. They come out to like a little over a dollar. I think it's like a dollar five or something like that because you get 10 bags. So again, at a dollar, so it's one, two, three, four, five, so you're at five dollars roughly, and then the rest of it is really kind of scraps and things like that. Oh, Reba's been missing us. Get out of texting. If you comment link, you also get the text link, so you guys can come um, watch us. Sandy said, my husband and I went up during the winter. Oh. When we got to the top, it was snowing and ice. We could not see three feet in front of us, and the snow and ice hurt so badly on our face. Oh, my gosh. It was great. How do you get down? Aren't the roads covered? Yeah. With snow and ice? Yeah. How? I Without don't, sliding off? I don't, I, I don't get it. I don't understand. Okay, so your wine bag. You have your wine bag. So this is this one. We're going to use, these are just for inspiration. You guys can do whatever you want. I kind of sized it, and I'll show you how I sized that. Fabric of your choice. So these are fat um, quarters. You can get these. Um, Walmart usually has really good um designs we're gonna we're gonna not go the hot glue route ladies when we're doing the fabric um this is called fusible web this is what we're going to be using um to fuse our fabric onto our burlap you can use spray adhesive if you choose to use spray adhesive you guys know i've used it before just make sure to put a cardboard piece in your bag and then spray your adhesive just so that you're not because burlap is um porous porous 
and it has holes in it, so it could go to the back. So if you're going to use spray adhesive, you can definitely omit the fusible web and use the spray adhesive. We've done it plenty of times here on the channel, on the channel, on the channel, on the page. Um, so either way. Uh, oh, they rode. See, Sandy rode the train cog yeah. up and down. Yeah, we in think that snow. would be the route. Oh, in the snow. Oh, my gosh. Well, that's not that big of a deal, Carol. It's better than driving the car. That's what she's saying. Oh, Patches, did you get your beads? We might be using those beads tonight. That is might be one of the projects we're doing. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your... <clears throat> Little, um, and if you have a Cricut machine and you want to have it cut on the Cricut, you could do that as well. This is a PNG, so you can upload it and um, cut the fabric if you have a maker, if you want it really perfect, but I'm okay with cutting it out this way. Oh, you have so many gifts to make. Yes, these are very inexpensive gifts, and it's, it's really going to be the thought that that counts. I mean, to take the time to make something for someone, um, I think is worth more than... And that's than why Carol was doing a gift idea in July. In July, yes. So you guys have plenty of time. You have plenty of time to do your gifts. No excuses for those <laughs> gifts. Hey, Hazel. Hazel, are you new? I don't know if I've seen Hazel. I love that name. Okay, so I'm just cutting this out. Thanks, guys, for hanging out with us. We're not hitting 500, but that's okay. We appreciate the ones Nobody that are Nobody wants here. to hear me sing. <laughs> Do you have a birthday? Oh, you got to see your question of the night again. We might have some new people on. I don't know where it went. The question of the night was, what show have you binge watched? So if you're just hopping on, we love getting to know you guys, so we'd love to know. Plus, gives ideas for what shows to binge watch. Binge watch. I uh, need to watch it. Oh, go Bucks. Go Bucks. Go Bucks. What's the Bucks? Game five. What sport is playing tonight? Basketball. Oh, <laughs> we don't watch basketball. Sorry. I don't watch basketball. But okay, watch it. Handmade on Hulu. You could use ink stamps on the bag. Oh, that's a good idea. Yes. There's so many ideas for this. We're going to use fabric. I'm going to show you guys. Um, Natalie said, you really do great crafts, Carol, and Aww, different. Thank it you. seems like everyone else is just doing the same thing. Aww, we appreciate a lot of you. signs, Natalie. I see a lot of signs in the crafting <laughs> world. A lot of signs. How many, how many signs can you hang up in your house? <laughs> right? It's all inspiration. It's all inspiration. Okay, so we have our little cute mitten, because I think it's super cute. Oh, but I'm not doing the mitten. I was going to do my little tree in the buffalo check. So we're making two bags. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna kinda eyeball it, and I'm gonna give you some tips. I'm gonna just take my, this is a fat fabric that I got from, oh, not scissors. Fat fabric I got from Walmart. If you have fabric scissors, just use fabric scissors. Don't use your fabric scissors on something else. So this is the fat quarter. And then I thought, what should we do? You guys decide while I'm cutting that out. Should we do the mitten in the red and black check or the red and plaid? This is plaid. Red plaid or red check? And I am not saying a word because every time I pick, she always picks the opposite. So you guys have to pick while I'm cutting out my tree. Tell me what you guys think is better, red plaid or red check. So what you want to do is you can definitely um, okay, I think take I just... this down or you can hold it up. Let me get my little... I think I just found the best tip of the night. What? I'm going to go get my pins. What? Rob, is Annie Robin, right? Yes. Yeah. Robin said... Robin, mm-hmm. Cookie cutters also make great patterns for creating design. Yes. Wow. That's awesome. That's a great tip. That's a great tip. Okay. That's an amazing tip. So I'm just taking some of my, I'm looking plaid, red check. Let's see what you guys, so all I'm doing, 
go. All you want to do is get your fabric to be on your, um, your design. Except, of course, make it straight. <laughs> make it straight. Red check, red check. Red and black check. Yep, Sheila said tip of the night for sure. That's awesome. That's a wonderful. We get a idea. lot of tips in the club. These ladies oh, that are they're commenting yeah. are in the club. Um, what an amazing group. Oh, yeah. We yeah, have a we lot have of We have an fun. amazing group here. We do. We do. Red plaid. Red, red check. Red and black. Are you doing what they're asking? I haven't done it yet. I'm doing it for the, the mitten. I'm just cutting out my Christmas tree now. Burlap takes a stencil well. Oh, that's perfect too. Yes, Joyce, you can yeah. do. You can definitely do a stencil. This is just another way of adding using fabric um, to kind of do your designs. You can do a red plaid. I'm still looking. Jody said red uh, check, not plaid. Oh, red what does that mean? So this is so this one was red check and this was red plaid. So tell me which one. We got some Sherpa going on too. So you got a what? Sherpa. Gotta have when you're doing your crafting, I put this Sherpa um, and I'll show it to you guys it, from Amazon. You're gonna need that for your your um, Christmas crafts for sure. Oh, that's what you saw on Pike's Peak. What? Penny said many red rock formation. One famous is the Kissing Camels at Manitou Springs. Beautiful place to visit. We did go there. Yes. We walked around there. How cute. She said, and there's several Colorado bighorn mountain sheep. Oh. The area. We, we did saw see, one. Yep. Our bus driver, when we were going down, the bus driver um, stopped. We saw one. That's what that was. Remember, we couldn't see. You Carol, said it was a, said. Carol said it was a goat with horns. <laughs> I did. I did. A little so fray. Oh, on your fingers and go around the edges. You just cut sops of fraying. That's a good tip. So they have um, a product that you can use that's going to stop the fraying. Red check, red check. Okay. So the design looks small, but I'm going to show you. Okay. So what was the final verdict? There were a lot. I'm looking. Looks like red check. Red check. Red check. Red check. Yeah, I think red check was the winner. So it's this one, which is kind of cute to go with that. So let me get a little. You're going to have tons of fabric for all your projects, for sure. For sure. Any of them will look great at your Yes. Sense. Okay. I'm going to take a little piece. this out no sandy we did not have any special chocolate candy while we were there no we did not <laughs> i did buy some fudge from a chocolate shop I she didn't mean that. that oh that stuff yeah no we didn't that stuff okay so when you're doing this so this fabric was two-sided so it really didn't matter and it's a christmas tree so that turned out fine but your mitten if you want your mitten to um to be facing a certain way you're going to want to make sure that you flip your image on the back um and then you can trace it out that way so if it's not a two-sided it's easier just to trace it if it did have something on it you can do what i did with the christmas tree and um and just use your pins <laughs> No, kind Jody. Sad. They did. We have a story for you, ladies in the club. So it didn't. Um, stay tuned for that. <laughs> it didn't. My mom didn't have any either. She did. Uh, my nephew works for a company out there. He's kind of a big wig. Got a big company out there doing that stuff, and um, like a big wig. And he uh, brought home some lotion for her, but she said it didn't work. <laughs> it was some lotion like for muscle pain and stuff, but she put some on and she said it didn't work. So. Is that fabric flannel? It feels like flannel for sure. It does feel like flannel. Like I said, if you have a Cricut maker, you can definitely cut the fabric out that way. Because I did try to do it um, and downloaded it and everything. You have to play around with it a little more on the Cricut, but it works. 
Grasshopper Park. I don't know what that is. I don't know where that's at, Lynn. Lynn, we didn't get much done, really, just Pikes Peak. Yeah. That was really it. We got in Friday, Saturday. What did we do Saturday? We just hung out. We hung out. We just hung out at the house with everybody. And then Sunday we went to Pikes Peak. And then Monday we came home. Yeah, it was it was long but not long. Yeah, Heather, it was C B D and THC. It yeah. had a little bit of I can't bring that home. The lotion, <laughs> it was like a two to one. Two parts CBD, one Thank part THC. Thank you for THC. spreading the honey, Mary. We are doing gift away, so comment, spread the honey. And um, I'm going to eat one more Skittle because that's all I have left. That's it. Mm hmm What are you doing? I'm trying to put that back. <laughs> okay. So let's do some Sherpa. Okay. So for the Sherpa, so what you're going to do, I thought was super cute. So if you don't have this in your crafting stash, you need it. You can get it off of Amazon. It's so soft. It's so soft. I think we did something with it last year, but it just adds the perfect little ruffle for your mitten, and that's what we're going to do. It doesn't have to be super um, perfect. So actually, I'm just going to – thanks for spreading the honey. Um, I'm just going to trace it out lightly. Oh, yeah, you're right, Linda. We did go to that craft thrift store. Yes, we did. We found one here, not the same store, but the similar concept – I'm um, here in Florida, so we got to make a trip for sure. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I didn't need this big piece. Uh, Jody said, do you need to rinse the etching cream off before you forget? Um, is it, if it sits on there longer, it's okay. But, yes, thank you. So, look how cute. I love it. I love it. And it's okay if it goes a little over. Uh, Mary, the weather was hot during the day, but beautiful at night. Beautiful, especially coming from Florida. Okay, so how we're gonna do this is with this fusion webbing, it's kind of like your hot glue. I already cut it out so you guys don't have to watch me, but you cut out the same design off the fuse webbing because that's what's going to fuse your design onto your. Um, I have to cut a little of this. Shauna, no, she didn't buy anything from that store. I should have. But she I should didn't. have. There was a ton of stuff. We could have filled a whole nother suitcase. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so I'm just so basically your fusible webbing is going to be the same size. Now it looks small, but the reason it's small. So before I do that, and here's my mitten. Good night, Sheila. Bye, guys. She's going to bed. She had a busy. Not guys, just Sheila. Oh. <laughs> um, she had a busy day. She went to go see her dad uh, and then a baseball game. That mitten is super cute. Yes, it's a cute idea. Okay, let me get another bag. Like I said, you get 10 bags in here. Spread the honey. Thank you. Okay. So the reason, and you guys can, like I said, this is just inspiration. Um, and then you'll get to see how the etching came out. But the reason that they're this small is you have to take into consideration. This is champagne. This isn't. A wine but wine bottles are usually about this size when you put so just if you're going to make your own design or something to put on the wine bottle um <clears throat> you have to take into consideration you only have so much space so mine was about only about four by six so even though your bags are much wider and taller you have to consider it's going to get scrunched so it's really just leave, leaving you that much to work with. So if you decide to use this inspiration and do something, just keep that in mind. You know, the name of the store in Florida, it was in Tampa, and I don't remember the name, but if you type in. It's I think what's I, the scrap? What the, what's the scrap? The one in Florida? Oh, not the one. The one in Florida? <laughs> okay, just ignore what Carol said. I think if you type in. Um, uh, cr uh, crafting thrift store, Tampa, Florida. It'll pop up. It had an orange logo. <laughs> okay. So now we have this. So let me. So the fusible web is on that side, and we'll take care. I'll just, we'll take care of the little mitten part. <laughs> it's just laughing. Yeah, she said, "LOL." Okay. So your fusible web, like I said, is what you're going to get 
your fabric to stick. So this is our little travel iron. So all you're going to do is you're going to just go right on there. Like I said, if you want to use, shut off. If you want to use hot glue, I wouldn't because you're going to have it bumpy. If you use spray adhesive, just make sure to put cardboard in between your bag. Joy, you know what? I'm oh, sure. I'm sure Florida has other ones just like it. So just type in maybe craft uh, thrift stores, thrift store for crafts, mm -hmm. wherever you're at. Okay. So basically, I don't know what happened here. I kind of got burned off or something. That's okay. So you can see how it stays on there, and then we're going to do it for the same thing for here. Heat press works great too. Yes, it does. Heat press works awesome. You're gonna just hold this down. I don't know what burned on that one. It must have been flipped the wrong way or something. <laughs> Carmen said, "My house is a crap." <laughs> right? Oh, she joins by the space center. It's called heat bond. Um, no patches. I it was fusible web. Usable web is how Amazon had it listed. Heat bond fabric, I think, comes that way. Dawn loves this. So, super cute. Okay, and then I'm going to just take a little bit of the webbing to attach my Sherpa. But if you wanted to, you could definitely, like this section wouldn't make a big deal if you did want to hot glue it. Because I don't even know. We'll see. We'll see how even the, if this is going to work. I might have to have to do it. You're going to have to make it longer. Oh, yeah. How are you going to push that down? You're going to burn the fabrics. I don't think it's going to burn the fabric. Yeah, I just don't know. 100%. Heather said, oh, so which craft box did Carol end up getting? Oh, that'll be, that'll be um, a reveal. You guys will stay tuned for... Uh, the craft box reveal. So, and I got a special code for you guys too once I get it. So, um, if you guys love it enough to get it yourself, I got you covered. Oh, thanks, Angela. So many new ideas. Oh, good. I'm so happy to hear that. Okay, so that's what you got going on. Look how cute that is. You can have fun, like I said, even with these um, uh, craft balls. You can go ahead and you can um, add them here if you wanted to. Just take off your, um, let's get this open. Just unfold. Eliz Elizabeth said, flip it. I don't know what that means. Flip it. Flip it. I don't know. I don't know, Elizabeth. That's not holding, though. Maybe that's, not holding. Maybe that's what she's saying. Flip it over? No, no. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to cheat. That's not working. I'm just taking some of this glue. You can definitely take hot glue. Cute idea for any gift bag. Yes, that works out perfect. Okay. Jerry hasn't caught us live in a long time. Jerry, get set up on our texting. Yes, comment link. Um, and you'll get... Flip it uh, over and heat it, Elizabeth. Um, and get your... Uh, on our texting... Plus, you get the link to the blog. And like I said, six more days for the DIY Club. And if I'm excited, it's because we only open four times a year. And I know how much fun we have in there. And we would love to have you. So if I seem a little overkill in the next uh, week because I'm talking about it so much. We just don't um, want you guys to miss out. That's There's a reason behind it. Nicole that. said they are the best. You should join the club. It gets better and better and better. <laughs> I feel it has, right, Nicole? I think it has. It's, Jody. I have these ladies that have been in there since day one, and we have just grown together, and it's just it's fun. I know. I've gotten better. Yeah, Bill's gotten better. He I craft. crafts. If anybody's been following and they saw that candy corn I made, <laughs> boom. Look at the projects I'm doing now. Yes, compared and to. I don't mind using glitter. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I'm going to see if these work. Hold on. Let's see if we can get both of these in here. Martha, just comment. Um, what does she have to comment? Uh, DIY Club. DIY to get information? Club. Yep, just DIY Club. Comment DIY Club and you'll get all the information sent to you. Oh, thanks, guys. Love the blog. Had a chance to go through it all. And now I have a huge with wish list on Amazon. Oh, good. Jonathan. Okay, I'm trying to see. 
Nicole said, I feel like I have friends all over the U.S. and Canada. Right. One hundred percent, Nicole. You do. Some, some amazing people. When you comment DIY Club, it's going to give you your, the price, um, which is this is the last time it will be at this founding member price, um, because we do have months and months and months of content that you can go back and watch the replays, and um, it tells you everything that you get there. I'm trying to get this. They can go back and watch from day one. Yes, you that's guys can go back and watch. That's awesome. You can watch some of the. Oh, and I feel like I've known that, right, Nicole? That's how we feel too. Okay, I'm uh, trying to see if I can get these in here. Sorry if I'm taking a little longer. Celine said, "Are the items you're using in your on your supply list?" Yes. Yes. Yep. That's not working. That's not working. Okay, the beads. I wanted to use the beads in this project, Why and can't it's I get not them in there? because you can't do both. They're too thick. Um, so that's you're fine. trying to do both at the same time. Yeah, and it's just have not you tried doing one and then hold the other I and did. push the other one yeah, through? I did. I, I tried. So. I tried. I tried. I tried. Okay, let me get these in here now. Uh, Jerry said, "Good for this. you." Do you use diamond dust? And then I'm assuming it's glitter. She said most husbands don't like glitter either. No, Jerry, <laughs> it gets all over. Have, do you know glitter just goes all over? It goes all over for sure. For sure, for sure. Jingle bells would be cute. Yes, that would Joy be said. cute. That would be cool, Joy. Okay, that would be cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. So what was I doing? Let me put this back. I wanted to use the beads, but that's okay. I have another Nicole project. Nicole said, yes, it. hoping to get there someday. Nicole, where are you looking to get to? Okay, let me go wash this off while this Bill chit-chats with all of you. So let me go do that. It's me. He's going to chit-chat. He can clean up. Nicole, where are you looking guys. to go to? She said, hoping to get there someday. Excuse me. Well, you're in my... What the heck? Okay. Uh, rose gold glitter... Is my favorite. Yeah, I guess. I, I don't really have a favorite color glitter because really I just got into glitter. Like I just, like last week or a couple weeks ago, I got into glitter. So, um, and it, you know, to be honest, it's really not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Glitter, uh, Heather said, glitter is the herpes of the crafting world. I agree, Heather. Yes. Yes. Not in a good way. Uh, oh, shit. Nicole's looking for a bee sister in New Hampshire. Anyone in New Hampshire? We need a bee sister for uh, Nicole. Nicole's awesome. I hate glitter, Patcha said. It gets everywhere and it never leaves. Yeah, so this weekend when we were going up Pikes Peak, it was, I will say, it did get a little, uh, it got a little dangerous. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. No, I was fine. Uh, I, I was fine. Carol was really nervous. And like I said, when we got to uh, Devil's Den, um, which was at 11,000 feet, I, we got out of the car and I looked at her and I said, you know, Carol, we don't have to go to the top if you don't want to. And I can tell that worried panic look in her face. And I, and she looked at me and she said, no, we can go. We were putting our sweatshirts on. And I looked at her and I said, no, for real. If you don't want to get on that bus, we don't have to get on that bus. And she said, no. And then she paused. She said, no. We, 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 we can go. Like, she stuttered like that. Like, we can go. And I said, okay. I said, well, we'll put you on the inside. Um, we'll put you on the inside seat so you're not sitting on the edge. But the bus ride was only 15, 20 minutes to the top. So it wasn't the end of the world. But I will tell you, when we got to the summit, that was the end of the world. Because as soon as we got off the bus, a big dark cloud rolled in. Like, it looked like fog passing by your face. But it wasn't fog. We were in a cloud. <laughs> like, our heads were in a cloud. And then we went inside. The um, They have, like, a uh, like a summit house, I guess. And they had, like, a little gift shop in there. And then Carol got a shirt. She'll have to show it to you guys later, later this week. Um, uh, she got a shirt, and I waited in line. Supposedly, they have the best, like, cinnamon donuts or something that they make homemade, like, at the top. I don't really think that they were anything special, though. It was just a donut. And um, my word of advice to you is, even if you're starving and you're super hungry, do not get the $5 hot dog because that was dry and disgusting. There wasn't enough mustard or water you could put on it to get it even down your throat. So, okay. but anyway. She's not going to do all four. She's not going to do all four because she knows I can just enjoy my time with you guys. <laughs> Oh, All right, cool. and it's, you're, it's harder to see on camera, thanks guys, um, but 
So basically, the dollar the wine glasses are from Dollar Tree. That looks cool. The etching glass is um, the etching cream is from like Happy Lab already craft store. The hack with the letters do that, and um, so you've got a dollar. Like I said, another dollar for the poster boards. Um, How does that work? One two. So if you do a set of four, four dollars. So less than ten dollars. Less than ten dollars. I'm not going to do the math. Um, I'm glad you didn't fall off the edge, right? So look how cool. Okay, so this one, obviously I had my etching. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you guys will be there. able to see it. Um, uh, turn it like at an angle. Hold on. So can Here, you see the on. K? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You got to stick something behind it. What do we have? Do you have like paper or something? Uh, yeah, I have paper. Yeah, like dark paper. Yeah. Hold on, we're going to fix this. Carmen loves etching. Etching is very, Have you very... tried the etching cream from Dollar Tree? I haven't. I haven't. If they have it... Can you see that? Let's hold that up there. Uh, kind of, like at an angle. They said hold it up to my shirt. Let me see. So I put that in there, but it's got, like, you could see the polka dots. So... Carmen says darker. Darker? Darker. Darker. As dark as I can go. <laughs> yeah. Looks so cool. You're going to have to try this, Robin said. See how it was? It's oh, not there you perfect. go. Oh, it looks cool. Good job. That was awesome. Yeah, see that? So, again, it's got the polka dots. You could do stripes, you could do anything. Now, that hack, if you're going to do it, be careful. I definitely had some areas that were showing. Um, that shouldn't have been showing. Oh, black is better. Oh, you guys can see that. Good. Good. Oh, good. I see the hearts. <laughs> so you can see all like the polka dots and all of that. So your gift, you could do two glasses. You could do four glasses. Um, very inexpensive. Um, and you can personalize it. Like I said, I did polka dots. You can do stripes. Um, there's so many different ways. And then for your cute little bag, which again, I know you guys can do this better. I just did a simple design. You can, um, if you're a cricketer, you can use the heat transfer and do other designs on there. You can personalize it and put their last name. Um, so there's so many ways. Catherine says, so pretty. So your gift is their favorite wine. Put it in the wine bottle bag that you decorate, okay? So you pick your designs and however you wanna do that. Um, and then pack these up like in a bag or something and with some tissue, matching tissue, however, love this, too many people I know. See, it's a perfect gift. And then take this idea and maybe put another spin on it. If somebody isn't a drinker, you can do this like with sparkling water um, or sparkling wine or something like that and still be able to make them the glasses. They can still use the glasses for any beverage. Pat just said would be would be cute glasses and wine in the bag with some cheese and a basket. Yes. Yes. Which, this week we have a, um, I, I'm, if all goes well, uh, I have another item that is going to kind of piggyback off of this one um, that you guys are going to want to definitely check out. But see how these prints are like the perfect size to get in there? Oh, you guys are awesome. Very cool. Kathy said, Good. we always do a wine exchange at Christmas. Oh, perfect. John said, so pretty. Love the edge glass here. Yes. I love the way that they come out. I think it's such a simple um, product, but when you use it, it, it just always blows my mind. Somebody says, I love it. Good. Fill it with Skittles, Carmen said. <laughs> right, Carmen? Like for Bill, exactly. Love the polka dot idea. Good, Nancy. I'm glad. Like I said, this is just an inspiration. You guys go have fun with it. But if you've never etched, if there's anything you get from this page, it is to get outside of your comfort zone. Try something new. Um, etching, if you've never done it before, this is a super easy project. Try on some Dollar Tree glasses and make a really cute gift. And I mean, that if you had a cricket machine. Oh, very cool. And if you had a cricket machine, you can make whatever design you want. Yes. Right? Yeah. I yeah. mean, if you do, if you have the cricket machine, you can definitely do a better job than I did with that little hack. Um, the hack definitely bled a little more than I wanted because I personally, I don't think I kept it as smooth, but it's still cute. It's still cute. Jody said, love it. Good. 
That would be amazing. God, I'm so glad you guys loved it. So stay tuned. We are live tomorrow. Get on the texting list, comment link. Um, I'm going to talk about the DIY club for the rest of the month before our doors open. Uh, we have a really um, special early bird special. So get on the waiting list so that you can get um, that special gift. And uh, that's it. I think we're all good. It looks so cute. I love the mitten. Get the Sherpa. Get the Sherpa because that makes a difference. Oh, you're so welcome. Thanks, Robin. You guys are amazing. Thanks for everybody that stayed here. Um, don't forget to keep spreading the honey. We're going to let it go for 48 hours for replay, and then we're going to send happy mail to somebody. So um, good. I'm glad you guys like it. All right. We are going to hop off, and we will see you guys tomorrow night. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Have a good evening, and be safe. Be safe. <laughs>